वेलकम टू कॉन्फ्लिक्ट न्यूज 24 इन दिस वीडियो हम डिटेल लुक एट लास्ट 12 आवर्स डेवलपमेंट्स इन द ऑनगोइंग कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इन ईस्टर्न कांगो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम कांगोलीज एयर फोर्स हैज कंडक्टेड एयर स्ट्राइक्स ऑन एम23 फाइटर स्ट्रॉन्ग होल्ड्स इन ईस्टर्न कांगो the strikes were conducted a few hours ago where were the strikes conducted the town which was hit is home to uh, one of the world's largest uh, deposits of uh, pyrochlore some gold mines are there too in this town of congo which is under the control of m23 fighters Secondly students of a Congolese university took to the streets today chanting slogans against Paul Kagame president of Rwanda Yoweri Museveni of Uganda and thirdly some Congolese news sources are sharing video of uh, a commander they claim that Uh, the person shown is a rwandan commander who was sent by rwanda to train to arm to lead m23 fighters and lastly viewers on the sidelines of uh, uh, un conference on climate change in egypt east africa community countries met and they discussed uh, the ongoing conflict in eastern congo details for you firstly viewers uh, Two days ago, we reported that the Congolese uh, government deployed its Su-25 uh, fighter jets to Goma Airport, uh, which is in eastern Congo, and towards Goma, M23 Congolese uh, opposition fighters are advancing, and one of the Su-25. violated rwandan airspace yesterday it uh, touched down on an airport in rwanda right on rwanda congo border rwanda protested but congo said that the incident was not intentional and their plane was not armed now uh, the planes jet jet su su 25 are being used to conduct air strikes on m23 hideouts by congolese air force for the first time since the start of this conflict uh, uh, last year congolese uh, government today used its air force uh, several air strikes were conducted uh, in rathshoro Uh, Rathshoro was taken by M23 fighters a few weeks ago. They captured Kwanja Rathshoro, and they are now moving towards uh, Goma. Rathshoro in Rathshoro town reportedly Ranyoni was hit, Chanzo was hit, and uh, some say uh, Mosungati was hit today. Rathshoro town is strategic town. It has uh, one of the world's largest reserves of pyrochlore which is an ore of niobium uh, it is the most precious uh, mineral of congo and there are uh, around 15 gold mines as well in rathshoro town and uh, congolese government officials claim that from rathshoro gold and pyrochlore minerals are uh, smuggled into rwanda and m23 fighters are backed by rwanda because uh, through backing of uh, m23 fighters rwanda wants to steal mineral resources gold deposits of congo this is congo's position obviously rwanda denies all these allegations so it strikes were conducted so far no details about the losses uh, uh, by the way rathshoro is uh, around 25 kilometers away from front line front line is not in rathshoro front line is uh, to the north of bahumba near rugari last night i briefed you on a map in the previous video that front line between 
M23 fighters and government forces is near Rogari, which is around 30 kilometers away from uh, Goma. A strikes were conducted in uh, Ratshoro, uh, which is uh, 30 kilometers away in northern direction from Rogari. It means that uh, M23 fighters uh, supply lines are being uh, targeted by Congolese Air Force. The purpose is to stop uh, M23's advance uh, towards Goma city, strategic city, main city in North Kivu, a province of DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo. Secondly, viewers, uh, uh, students of a university took to the streets in Congo today. Uh, Kisangani University students protested today. They chanted slogans against Rwanda, against uh, Uganda. They lashed out at uh, Paul Kagame, Rwandan president, and uh, Yuri Museveni, uh, Ugandan president. Congo has been accusing Rwanda and Uganda for years that they have been backing uh, M23 fighters. Some Rwandan and Ugandan opposition uh, armed groups are also operating in uh, Congo. Uh, FDLR from Rwanda, ADF from uh, Uganda are reportedly operating in Congo and uh, uh, Uganda and Rwanda accuse Congo of backing uh, uh, FDLR and ADF and uh, two days ago Uganda conducted air strikes on Ugandan opposition arm group called ADF. Uh, watch a clip showing today's demonstration by Congolese students of Kisangani uh, University. Uh, thirdly, viewers, a video of an allegedly Rwandan commander is being uh, shared in social media by some Congolese activists. They claim that Congo is sending these commanders who are fighting alongside M23 fighters. They are leading M23 fighters. Uh, the man shown, I uh, don't know if he is a member of Rwandan uh, military or not, uh, no official word from Rwanda so far, but yesterday uh, a Congolese a former Prime Minister accused that Congo was uh, uh, being infiltrated by Rwandan soldiers, that Rwandan soldiers were fighting in the guise of M23 fighters. Uh, the former Congolese Prime Minister uh, request international government to intervene and stop uh, Rwanda from sending its uh, troops in Congo in the guise of M23 fighters. I don't know if uh, the person shown in the video is a Rwandan commander or not, but several Congolese sources are sharing the video showing this. Uh, uh, allegedly Rwandan military uh, commander who has been captured in eastern Congo by Congolese forces. Watch the clip uh, showing uh, the person. Mm. Unasema Bunagana ulianza tumika kazi gani Bunagana? Ni Bunagana. Bale munengia na M23. Bunagana, nimekuya tukapigana, mm. tumemaliza kupigana, kamata siraha za... And lastly, viewers, uh, while... UN conference on climate change in Egypt is underway in Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt. On the sidelines of the conference, East Africa community countries held a meetings held a meeting about Eastern Congo conflict. Paul Kagame, president of Rwanda, William Ruto, president of Kenya. Uh, Congolese uh, Prime Minister, uh, Burundi's uh, President were part of the meeting. No one from South Sudan uh, or Uganda uh, participated in the meeting. Their discussions were held about the conflict in Eastern Congo. Uh, no details have been made public so far. This shows that uh, 
East Africa Community Platform is trying to find a way out of uh, the conflict which is spiraling out of control in Eastern Congo. On the 16th of November, talks are due to start in Nairobi, Kenya uh, about uh, the conflict in Eastern Congo, but uh, DR Congo government is opposing participation of M23 fighters in uh, Nairobi uh, talks uh, on the 16th of November. DR Congo government is demanding that M23 fighters must withdraw from the occupied areas, then they can be part of talks. Several peace uh, processes are underway, parallel peace processes are underway in Luanda, Angola. Talks were held two days ago. Uh, chaired by Angola's president uh, and uh, Rwandan and Congolese the foreign ministers were there. In Bojambura, Burundi as well, uh, talks uh, were held. Uh, and in Nairobi, Kenya, talks are going to be held on the 16th of November. So Nairobi, Bojambura and uh, Luanda, uh, parallel uh, peace talks uh, are going on to find uh, a peaceful solution to the conflict. So far, conflict is ongoing. Uh, use of uh, fighter jets, uh, bombers by DR uh, Congo Air Force uh, indicates that this conflict is now spreading. Thank you for watching.